Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the app Space by Thix. You may have seen my other um, apps I've reviewed by Thix also. I recently did Beaker by Thix and Chemist by Thix, and those are great apps. Check those videos out. Thix is a great developer. But anyway, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the app Space by Thix, and let's go check it out on the App Store. It is available for a fee but it might be worth it to you. It's about $5. Um, like I said, it's not free, but if you like space and you like this kind of app, it might be worth it to you. But what it is, it's basically um, a playground in space. Like, it's a sandbox. You can put planets in. You can um, put black holes. It's basically a sandbox game, but with space. So, you can see it has 3.7 stars, 148 ratings. Um, it's about 82 megabytes. So, let's open it up. And as you can see, we're in the app now, and it's landscape-oriented. So, you can get a wide view of what you're doing. But, it opens up to our solar system. And when you tilt, it uses the gyros or gyros in your phone, so you can get different views of it. But you can tap on each um, planet to go closer to it and get more information on it, like Mars, terrestrial planet. Um, you can get the mass and radius and the temperature. You can remove it if you want to. Like I said, this is a sandbox game. And to exit the planet, you might just have to tap another one. But let's reload it so we can get a full view again. So you can also see the paths they take and it leaves a line so you can see their orbit, I guess you'd call it. It has all the planets up to Pluto. And they included Pluto, which is a dwarf planet, but it's very awesome. You can tap on the different things like the sun or the planets and you can see what they are and what mass and radius and temperatures they have like I said let's go to the top left button again and you can tap on like I showed before the solar system button where it resets as a solar system or you can tap the one under it and you get a Sun or you can do black hole or you can do nothing so let's start out with a blank canvas and let's go to the top right corner and you can tap various things to see what they are. We'll start at the left end. That's a gas giant. That's a terrestrial planet, dwarf planet, moon, comet, asteroid, white dwarf, red dwarf, yellow dwarf, blue giant, pulsar, black hole, and nebula. And if you let it stay there and don't tap another one, it tells more about it. Um, this is an interstellar cloud of dust, hydrogen, helium, and other ionized gases, and that is a nebula. Let's put a yellow dwarf like our sun. It gives it a name. It has a solar mass and a radius. You can change it. It's just sliding this dial will make the numbers bigger or lower. We'll make it as big. And we'll compare it to a blue giant. And it's a binary star system. Zoom in, and I'm going to make the blue giant as big as possible. And it makes a supernova, as you just saw. They collided with each other. It's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of like a science experiment, but with space. It's really awesome. You don't have any limitations, obviously. But let's remove this and start it fresh again. Let's try putting a yellow dwarf again, and then putting a planet to go around it. And you can drag this to show how far you want it apart. And you can see it's starting to orbit this. We'll put a black hole for some more confusion in a second, but here's a nebula. Here's the black hole. And it causes chaos, as you can see. It does weird orbiting really chaotic so we'll remove remove that 
here's the black hole. Remove it. And so as you can see, you can do various um, things in space, putting planets, stars, asteroids, etc. Just kind of like a playing with a sandbox game or just experimenting with a bunch of different things. It's basically a laboratory, but it's a whole realm of space, so it's pretty cool. I do wish there was maybe some more capabilities of this app or more features maybe, but it's pretty cool. This app is about $5 and may or may not be worth it to you, but if you're already watching this video, you might like space and cool apps like this in general. Um, like I said, it's basically a sandbox game. Um, that's what they call it, but it's in space. You get to deal with planets, all kinds of um, different objects like asteroids and comets, nebulas, and black holes, and you can see the reactions they do between each other, like the gravity and their orbits, um, explosions. You just saw that supernova. That was pretty cool. It would be cool if you could simulate actual satellites and space shuttles and rockets to see how they interact with planets and things in space. That'd be cool. Um, like how they orbit and how they float around and things. But maybe in the future, but it might also be cool someday. I know this isn't the kind of app, but to do more space um, rocket oriented things, but there's probably other apps for that. But this is a pretty cool app. Great for people who really love space, really love ex science and experimenting. Um, may not be worth about $5, I think there's other apps on the market, so you'll want to check those out too, but it's a pretty cool app, and I bought it, so I'd recommend it to those who really like this kind of thing. Um, it's clean, well made, wish it had more features, maybe more stuff to justify the $5 or so price, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment down below what other apps I should review, and please subscribe if you like my content and thought this video was helpful. Thanks, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.